YouTube, it's your boy Lou9294 coming at you with another vid. Just want to show you all my guys. I have a lot of yellowtail ACIs up in here, about seven of them. I know they're going to get real big. I have two hung guys, I think one's a male, one's a female. You can see one of them in the, well, both of them in the front now. Going to your left hand side at the bottom of the screen next to each other. Just pass each other up. And I have some uh, yellow guys. I thought they were, uh, they were told to me they were yellow labs, but I looked them up. They aren't actually yellow labs. Let me see if I can get any closer. See how close I can get. They aren't actually yellow labs. They're uh, another species in the same family, and they just turn all yellow. So that's how they turn. I know my ACI is going to get too big to have all of them in there together. But the rest of these guys are dwarf uh, cichlids, so they don't get too big. If anybody can tell me how I can get these liver stone eyes out of here without having to rip my whole tank apart, I would be so greatly appreciative. But that's what it seems like I'm going to have to do, rip the whole tank apart in order to get these guys out of here. And I don't want to rip the whole tank apart. You have to excuse the uh, yellow, and I mean the white and the blue shining from the lights down into the uh, picture frame because I don't have enough water in the tank. But if you're actually looking at the tank without it being on camera, you can't actually see it. That's the crazy part about it. So I guess because I'm using my cell phone, I'm not using my high quality phone, I mean my high quality camera. I guess that's the reason why. The reason I haven't used my high quality camera is because I haven't uh, installed the Windows Movie Maker in order to shoot the movies and transfer everything over to there. Then I'll have to transfer everything back over and shoot and do all this other stuff. But it is what it is. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for allowing me to be able to go with my daughter on yesterday to the robotics competition. They didn't win. They had like, I think like 40 something teams. So out of 40 something, I think they came in like 12th or something like that. But it's all good. They didn't get their programming right and everything didn't go right for them. But uh, there's always next year because she's going to be on the robotics team at the school that she's going to next year when she goes to middle school. And they have a robotics team, so she's going to be on that team also. Uh, what else I want to tell you guys? Man, not trying to brag on these lights or anything. But I seen something today with these LED lights that just amazed me. Like, I didn't know I had set something for like 20 minutes. And I actually didn't know what it was. You know how we are as people don't read instructions all the way or whatever. Well, the light started dimming. And as it was dimming, it just started getting darker and darker and darker. And that was uh, replicating the sun going down. And it just went completely dark. Now, I could have had the moon lights to come on after that. But I just rather just kept it completely dark. That was cool with me. Uh, if you're looking for extreme algae growth in your tank. Like some people like algae all over their rocks. These are the lights for you. The LED, I mean the aquatic light, uh, edge LED lights. These are the lights for you. 
I cleaned my rocks off because, you know me, I don't like algae all over my tank and everything. I kept this light on for 24 hours for two days on purpose just to see how much algae grows it would grow. As you can see, my background is a little greener than what it usually is. But I think that's kind of cool. I can deal with that. I can deal with that greenness. And as you can see, the yellowness in my ACI's tails and the yellow on the rest of the fish, this light really brings out the color in your fish. It really does. You guys are worrying about the 120. The 120 will be up and running real soon. As you can hear the trickling in the background because there isn't much water in it. But I'm going to completely tear it down. And I'm going to show you guys how to build or how to set up an African cichlid aquarium from scratch. I'm going to do a complete remodel of the tank. New aquascape, new everything. I'm going to do a completely remodel to the tank and show you guys step by step. I don't know if it's going to be a video. I don't know if I'm going to do pictures. I want to do videos, so I'm going to try my best to do a little video footage here and there to show you guys. But like I say, you know, I'm going to be doing everything by myself because, you know, my daughter is becoming a teenager. And she doesn't want to help me out as much as she used to. So, but I'm going to try my best to do that for you guys. Let me see if I can show you guys what I was telling you about the light and the coloration that it shows. It's not showing as much as it was at first, but you can see the kind of the blue and the uh, white specks coming down from the light. You can kind of see it. So that's because I don't have enough water in the tank. But I have it set up on the uh, the blue and the white. I like the blue and the white the best. But if you put it on the other settings and you're looking to get you some serious algae growth or you have a saltwater aquarium and you want your corals to uh, flourish, man, these are the lights for you. From what I've heard and from, I, from what I've heard from people that actually have this lighting system, it's better than the fluval, the new fluvals that came out. It's better than those. It's definitely better than the marine land. I have the marine lands already. This made the marine lands look like poop. I'm sorry, marine land. Y'all had some good lights when I first got them, but I had to add an extra light fixture that actually was an aquatic life marine that I had hooked up. That's why I had the white and the blue together on the other tank. But this light by itself, when you just turn on the white lights by itself, it gives it a total different look. I can't explain it. You have to see it in person. The camera doesn't do justice on the coloration of the tank. It really doesn't. This light fixture comes in three different sizes. This is actually the 24, I want to say. I think it's the 24 inch that I have. And this is a 36 inch aquarium. And you can see that it's lighting the whole aquarium from side to side. Let me back up a little bit more. Ah, uh, there it goes. There go the, the light thing that I was telling you about how you can see the light shining through I guess I didn't have it backed up enough at first but that's how you can see the white and the uh, blue shining through but this is the best light fixture I've ever had before and I appreciate aquatic life man awesome people thank you guys so much I'm going to show you guys how to uh, set up this light fixture tomorrow. I'm not going to do a uh, step by step with the light with the lights on because I'm going to be shooting a video by myself. I don't have anyone to help me, so 
like I say, I'll show you step by step how to program the lights and how to get the best out of these lights. I appreciate get, appreciate you guys once again for everything that you guys done. I appreciate you guys for just being a part of all the videos that I've made and giving the good info. I appreciate you guys so much. Until then, this is your boy Lou9294. Love you guys. Jesus loves you. I love you too. Always trust and believe in God. No matter what goes on in your life. No matter how hard it may seem.